Good afternoon from College Park in Maryland Stadium. This is Wayne Viner for Red Turtle Productions and Turp Talk. And this is Josh Stern from InsideMarylandSports.com. Well, we just heard DJ Durkin talk a little bit about last week and the upcoming game against Indiana. Indiana has a similar record to Maryland. What do you see coming up for homecoming this week? Yeah, I mean, I expect Indiana, I guess the line's probably already out, but I expect Indiana to be a, a little bit favored just because they've been more competitive in some of these close games. Uh, you, you saw uh, opening season against Ohio State, they actually, I mean, they were leading by halftime. Uh, they've played a couple other top teams tough. I know. I think it was Penn State that kind of blew them out. But other than that, they've been in every single game. And they played Michigan State really tough in East Lansing this past weekend. So, I mean, Indiana, they have the same record as Maryland. They're still looking for the first Big Ten win. But Indiana's no joke. And, I mean, if you look at kind of their resume and how they've played this year, I would say they're playing better football right now than Maryland is. And as we all know, time is money. That's where our fully managed approach to IT can help. With proactive remote monitoring and management, we're able to keep tabs on your IT infrastructure 24-7, 365 days a year. And when a problem does arise, our technical experts can quickly resolve it, in many cases before you're even aware that there was a problem at all. For an affordable fee, we'll provide the monitoring, technical support, and full problem resolution you need to stay productive. Want to learn more? Drop us a line today to see exactly how we can help keep your systems running smoothly and keep you focused on what matters most, growing your business. Yeah, that, that's tough to take. DJ alluded in the press conference that at the beginning of the season they might have been a little bit ahead of the curve, and now I, I guess you might say they're where we thought they might be. We all, everybody said this was going to be a really hard season, and my hopes were sky high, and I've been running around saying, at least we have Texas. <laughs> at least we got to go to Texas and win. Now I'm worried about the Rutgers game. So my confidence in, in what's going on, not in the long term, but in the medium and the short term, is that this team just doesn't have the horses right now. Yeah, that's the thing. If, if you told people that Maryland was 3-4 and four at this point in the season down to their third-string quarterback and have been playing with their third-string quarterback for a while, I mean... You, and most people would say that that makes sense. That's where, right where you would expect Maryland to be. I mean, you go back and the Texas win wasn't supposed to be a win. The Minnesota win on the road wasn't supposed to be a win. So now, I mean, Maryland, Maryland's hitting that slide that we, we're so familiar with. We've seen each of the last few years. But and then they have Indiana coming, which was supposed to be one of like if that that was supposed to be a give me win. This was yep. one that they had to get. And you even look at Rutgers, like you said, they're on a two game winning streak. So there is no easy win from here on out. M Michigan hasn't been playing as well as kind of they were tab top ten team going into the season. Now they're unranked. So I mean maybe that's one that Maryland can be competitive with uh, as well, especially getting that at home. But right. but then people didn't think Michigan State would be any good, and now they're ranked. And of course Penn State, my my dreaded rival Penn State looks to be uh, well they definitely have the game of the weekend and they yeah. could be in a national championship run so let me get off of Maryland for a second what do you think about Ohio State Penn State do you have a favorite in that one um, I'm, I'm just going with Ohio State just based on I mean I really think Ohio State is one of the top two or three teams in the country so I mean that that's my pick for for this weekend um, Penn, I mean, obviously, it's going to be a close game, going to be a really right. good game, but I'm going I, I, Ohio State. I'm disappointed that time-wise it's up against Maryland, Indiana. Are you for or against the yellow homecoming uniforms? I, I like them. You know, I, I like the uh, the throwbacks that Maryland did a couple years ago when they played Penn State and Baltimore, and, and the, these kind of have that kind of same feel with them going back to the old black and gold kind of right. throwback to, to really what Maryland's colors used to be way yeah. back even before the red was introduced. Yeah. It, this is Wayne Viner for Turp Talk. And this is Josh Stern from InsideMarylandSports.com. And we hope to be talking to you from right here next Tuesday after a Maryland victory.